We are still in our markdown and in previous sessions I have sort of introduced how the basic structure of the document looks, how to add tables and figures using code chunks and to how to add some text and define the YAML header here. So this is our current um, our markdown file. I actually went ahead and changed the title because before it was called table. It's a little misleading because now we have more than our table here. So in this video I want to quickly introduce some code chunks option for you. Um, there are various ways to change how um, output is presented here in the code chunk or, e or even code, right? You've already seen three options that we used. We used echo false, warning false, and message false. So echo false says that we don't want the actual code that is being um, executed with, within the code chunk to be displayed in the output format, right? We only want the actual output um, visuals like tables, figures, and so forth, we want that to be visualized um, and included in the report. So that's what echo means, just means don't show the code. The warning means that some warnings uh, are excluded, for example, you know, when there are some missing values that R is excluding and when they produce a figure, this usually prompts a warning sign in the console down here. We don't want that warning sign to be included in the actual report, so warning falls and the same is with message, right? We want to turn those off. We don't want them in the report. Now, there are other options here that we use, especially for um, changing the alignment of the table or graph that we're trying to include. For example, whether you want it left, center, or right. Um, and also the size of the graph, right? And the overall look. So let's go ahead here, uh, for example, with the figure and change the alignment, right? We can do this using fig align and then left, right, center, or default. Let's go ahead and choose center um, and run it, see what that looks like. So if we scroll down here, you can see that now the figure is actually aligned in the center, which looks a little bit nicer. So let's go back to our markdown script and also change the uh, size of the figure, right? Um, by the way, I have compiled all these options here in the online um, course under section 10.7 where uh, I talk about fine-tuning. So any aspect of the R Markdown file that can be changed and formatted, you'll find it here, including some options um, for the uh, formatting of code chunks, right? Uh, so we used fig align already. Let's now go ahead and use fig width and fig height or actually fig dimension, fig dot dim um, to change the overall look okay so uh, let's let's use fig width um, and, and change that in the report just to show you how that looks like let's knit it again we are and we see oh, and we see it's a lot narrower than it was before right so the look uh, is different now all right so we changed the alignment of the figure we changed the width just a short mention of other options that you have here for example you can add a caption fig cap and then in parentheses say something here like uh, based on data from whatever and then this will appear uh, below the, the the visual okay another code chunk option is the argument include and include tells our include tells our whether you want to include any of the output that is being produced in the markdown. Sometimes, as you'll see in a future video, we'll just want to load something or run code so it's it's included in the R environment and then we can call on it later and later further down in the markdown file. But we don't want any of that to be displayed, right? And then we can just say uh, include false and none of what happens in the code chunk is being included in, um, in the report. 